Y'all need some fill light? You want your videos to look better? I got you. Let's dive in. <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm David and I'm here to give you a breakdown of the two best options, in my opinion, for a mini fill light in 2019. Jumping right in, this is the MoMan portable fill light. This is the Aperture ALMX1. Both amazing options. As you can see right here in front of each light, this is the packaging they come in. They're both packaged very well. The Aperture has slightly better carrying bag inside. This one comes with a little net case, nothing too shabby, but it's not amazing. They both come with the charging cables you need. They both come about 50% charged up. So what's the difference in these two lights? Okay, first of all is price. The Aperture is about $150 on Amazon right now, give or take a few dollars. This one's about $52, the Moman light. Um, big difference in pricing. Let's jump through the differences between these two lights. The Aperture ALMX, has a color temp range of 2800 to 6500 while the MoMan only goes down to 3500 and up to 5700 so not quite as big a range but it is adjustable by 1% increments from 5% to 100 while this aperture only has five different settings one two three four five whatever they are is what you get this has 96 LEDs, this has 128 LEDs. The MoMan has a CRI rating of 96, while not far behind the Aperture has a 90, 95, excuse me. Uh, the battery life in each one, the MAH. Today's learning moment is gonna be about milliamp hours, MAH. Now, Red Bull Sugar Free and regular Red Bull are both measured in milliamp hours. Just kidding, but batteries are measured in milliamp hours, and here you can see exactly what it is. Milliamp hour, a unit that measures the energy capacity of a battery. Back to your video. Battery life in each one of these is different, so let's go through it. The Moman light has a 2800 milliamp hour battery, while the ALMX from Aperture has a 1800 so a smaller battery less runtime however if you look at the stats they both say on high they'll run for about one hour so that's my next uh, feature or spec they both will run for about one hour on high the max brightness on the aperture 3200 lux on the moman it is higher it is 4000 lux so you get a little bit brighter light here now there's one catch the Aperture does have a 30% boost for 60 seconds with the boost button located on top. Interesting feature, not sure why they only do it for the 30 uh, seconds, but hey, it's an idea. The weight, 10.25 ounces on the Aperture, about half the weight, 5.25. I weighed them both. Um, those numbers are exact. The MoMan has an LED lit OLED screen on the back that shows you the color temp, how much battery is left, and the brightness, which again, adjusts from 5% in 1% increments all the way up to 100%. It adjusts with a little toggle switch on the side. It's very smooth, easy to access. I really like that a lot. Um, again, only five settings over here. They both charge with USB-C, which is nice. Um, so everything's going to USB-C, they're set. Price again, 149, 150 to $52. Some quick features. Boost mode of 30%, we don't have that over here, but this light is brighter. Detachable filter, so the filter does come off. If you prefer just the LEDs, you can have it that way. Uh, to me, it's kind of, it's not intuitive. I don't love that. I don't know why they did it. I guess if you want a little brighter light, but hey, I recommend that everybody keep it on there. It looks good to me. This is a permanent cover and it's pretty tough. You can bang it. Bang, bang. Um, also, you have a wider color temp on the aperture. Not quite as wide on here. It's a little bit of a sacrifice. 
pack size. I prefer the Moman. It's thinner. It's smaller. It fits better on my tripod, actually. The aperture is a little heavier. Well, double the heaviness. And it sits kind of funny on the mount. It sits kind of forward. Just an awkward thing. Uh, probably wouldn't bother anybody else, but I don't love it. So, there you have it. The only other information I think you need to know about these lights is they're both very packable. They're both very durable. I haven't beat them up yet. I'm planning to. Um, this one comes in black or this is my second one. It actually comes in red as well. This is what's in this box. This is the black model. This comes one color, a red back. So, if you're looking for a small light to throw in your backpack, to use around the studio as just a filler or a backup, you've seen other YouTubers throw it in the background, light up a shelf, it will get the job done. I'll show you some examples and you can make the decision what you decide to go with. But I will recommend the Moman light for the money, packability, and the screen that doesn't come off. This is the clear winner to me. I like this light. I have a second one here in the box. I'm gonna keep a backup. Let me know in the comments below which light you go with. If you decide to make a purchase, I'll put the link on Amazon below for both of them. It'll be an affiliate link if you wanna buy through me. You can't go wrong with this light. I know a lot of people like the aperture. You can see the size in comparison to my hand. I have a large hand, but you can see the size there. Um, smaller overall in width but it is thicker and I must say it's not for me. I'm actually going to be sending this light back. So to anybody out there that loves this light, awesome, rock it, you should. I'm going to rock the Mo Man light. I'm going to keep myself lit and the world lit wherever I travel with this guy. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you make a good choice and let's all keep creating, keep encouraging each other and let's do good stuff. Okay, same camera settings as before, 1 60th of a second, 2.8 f-stop. I'll turn the moment light on now. Wow, beautiful. What an amazing little light. Okay, here we go again. Same camera settings, 1 60th of a second, natural lighting, f-stop 2.8, and we are going to power on the aperture lighting. And as you can see, it does a good job. There's 50% or number three on the up down step meter. So it does a nice job too. This light is a little bit warmer than the other one. Let me even them up. And there's the aperture light for you. 